Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Omori. Uh, last time we explored the inside of a whale. Apparently two-thirds of a whale's insides, in fact. Ah. So that'll be the mechanic. Hello, Marina. Here to steal my things again? Not this time. I prepared something extra special for you. <laughs> As you know, I'm a busy person, but alas, you are my sister. I'll grant you access to my room if you're able to solve my gift. Hope to see you soon, darling. If you're alive, that is. Oh, God. Type puzzle. Theme memorization. Difficulty hard. Pattern difficulty easy. Let's try that then, huh? Okay. Okay. Floating mirror. Still haven't got that mirror Easter egg. I also don't know what it looks like. Okay. All right. Let's do a picnic. Guys, we can't relax right now. We have a puzzle to solve. Aren't you guys afraid the bomb's gonna explode? Just relax, we got this. We're just full of the smartest people I know. It doesn't make me feel better at all. <laughs> Lady on the screen said she set it up for her sister, right? She wouldn't really let it explode on her sister. I don't know, Cal. Aubrey's right. We're in unfamiliar territory. Probably better to play it safe. What do you think, Mari? Huh? Oh, I think you should do what your heart tells you. Thanks, Mari. I can always count on you. You're welcome. Absolute loons, the lot of you. Just in case. Operator Humphrey, your results are unexpected. This knowledge may be able to find a cure for mortality. Sense so little about the world, so we study it. Our research fills us with more questions. Endless and fruitless cycle. Surely these numbers aren't correct. Oh, I've miscalculated. I guess they're not. Sprout moles grow from tofu. Who knew? Try turning it back on and off again. Operator Humphrey, do you read? We're gonna have a big fight with the client. Things aren't looking good. Tough for us to get any work since Molly's messing with research. I wish I was assigned to Medusa's Quadrant. It's where they assign all the hard, work hard, play hard types. Hey, they have a water slide. Sweep. Mumbo and or Jumbo. Two. Three. Four. Hmm. Scientifically unfulfilling. Multiply the results, subtract my infinity, divide by zero, care of the one that would bring me to an imaginary number. You're correct, that would bring you to an imaginary number. Maybe not in the traditional sense, but in that it's a made-up fake number. Oh, 
All right. Got to show the puzzle who's boss. Oh, they wanted me to go on alone. Um, under construction, preparing the entrance for exciting new attraction, but it's not ready yet. Come back later, like tomorrow later. Hello there, would you like a Humphrey hint for 300 clams? Delicious. We eat them. Here's a hint. I'll say it once. Why, well, as everyone said, try leading, reading from left to right. you, Humph. Popped in as it was fixing up this too. Try reading from left to right. I'm gonna look it up. Hey, there was a thing I didn't click on. Who knew? I didn't. It was me who did not know. Oh. Yeah, you can just walk up here. Can't believe I signed up for this. I started looking and I didn't actually even get to the solution. I just saw that there were things I didn't even read. Unfinished bag of chips. Use visitor, was he some cool? Machine can perform remote teleportation. Power of technology, I can send the sprout mold to the other side. Take a look. An error? Someone must have messed with the program. Probably Molly again. Always pull stunts like this. Dang it, Molly. Everything worked perfectly this morning. Oh, funny. I stepped on <laughs> my Omori speed runs going poorly. All right. Yeah, I didn't. I couldn't tell that these were stairs. Leading experiment on Humphrey through Humphrey movement. Come in time to watch us conduct the final test. Ready, gang? Do it like we practiced. This wasn't in my plans. Where'd everybody go? All right. So, so, so far we got one, then 
one too. Hmm. Oof. Er, hmm. Eh? What are you looking at me like that for? Did you see I'm busy? Actually, I got an idea. On second talk, I want you to try running through these metal plates. I want to test something. Omori. Okay, if you're sure, Omori, be careful. I don't have a good feeling about this. Mm-hmm. I took scratch damage. That's okay. Be careful. I don't trust this guy one bit. Phew. Sure, you guys are gonna pick me. Step. Gets you serious, I'll back you up. Oh, crap. Does that mean that you can talk to Amoria as someone else? I knew one of these spikes was broken. If I had a cup of coffee, I would sip it. Guess I gotta go fix it. <laughs> and he goes to stand on it to help you out to remember. Guessing the top one, top middle. Months upon months of hard work and toil, I've created the first ever Humphrey hologram. Don't they look like the real thing? Couldn't be more proud. Well, they told me to stand here, but I don't know why. Yep, okay. I wonder if that means that you can talk to Omori as one of the other party members. That's neat, if so. I went the long way for some reason. I'm not sure why. Why did I do that? Mysterious. Nice. All right, cool. All right, I put up the next puzzle because the animation's a little long. It said it's multiple choice. <laughs> oh God, for real? <laughs> Boys. Yay, a worm bot. Oh, it's only a robot. That's cool. Let's go, everyone. Let's go, Aubrey. How Aubrey got her juice back. Nice. Good one round fight, everyone. Mailbox. Shucker. <laughs> I do want Hero to keep that stuff on. So maybe Cotton Ball can be switched out. Foxtail, man. There we go. Globe, the earth but smaller, hard to dribble. 
Wow. It can't miss. You got mail, box. Fucking yeah. It's these guys, working magic hero. <clears throat> Greetings, Sir Conveyor Bot. My companions and I acquire your assistance in changing the direction of your conveyors. Please help us. Nice person. Get lost. That's strange. Looks so well before. Don't be down here. He's probably got his gears all mixed up. Can you say that any ladder? He's gonna get even more mad. Hey, Scrap Heap, you'll turn those belts around for us, won't you? Rude person. Just like Molly. Interesting. I can't believe that worked. But no, I'm good at the charm thing, too. I love when he throws french fries at us. Let's just stab him, though. Hey, Alright, I just killed those things. Neat. Oh, then we teleport over there with green. Homework. Mm-hmm. If we warp... Where are we? Hey, look. Camera's taking live footage of us. Say cheese. Oh, we look so cute. We do look cute. Heh. <laughs> Almost makes you wish we had a camera. Yeah, don't worry. We have loads of pictures of us, don't we? Pictures? Where? Only when we least expect it. What are you talking about, Kel? Something special about everyone living their own lives. Uh, you're being kind of weird. Huh? Hmm. Never mind. It's probably nothing. Let's keep moving forward. Gotta figure out. Bomb can blow any second. Gotta get them puzzles. Another one of these, huh? It seems like eons ago that I did that really long thing to get to that one sprout mole. Ages. All right. Mm-hmm. So where does green take us then? Ah, oh, crap. Well, hey, we're back. Pardon my stupid. I also killed those worm butts again. Oh, hey, we're up here now. For some reason, this reminds me of like a Phineas and Ferb bit. It's a good thing I checked before writing this M, otherwise I would have written another B. Been pretty bad, huh? This must be one of Molly's crazy puzzles. Girl, let's play games too much. She would focus, she could probably do so much good for the world. Om. Um. Pretty sure I'm supposed to switch places with one on your right. When I say you're right, I mean you as in the person standing in front of me, not some hypothetical observer watching us from behind a screen. Molly told us to write letters on our backs and stand in this order. I guess I think it was in this order. So wait, if we read it this way, it's... Mabo. Probably bomb. Oh. Boom. Perfect. We'll watch this animation play out. 
I skipped the earlier one, but that's okay. Because, yeah, they put little smiley faces on. Activate them puzzle. Oh, God. Sweet Jesus. Right. Uh-huh. Hey, I moved my camera and killed some worms. Disgusting worms. Oh, does this just mean zero, one, two, three? This is a Lost Woods. Look at how fast we can kill worm bots now, by the way. All the cool upgrades we've gotten. Yeah, look at that. Easy money. Hmm. So, uh, I do actually want to kill all those worm bots, so I'll do that off camera. Hey, so I think I just realized what the thing is. There are three worm bots in a green room. Two in the blue. Oh, whoops. Two in the blue room. Three in the green room. Should be a red room here somewhere, right? Let's see if there's more dialogue. Nope. Oh well. Two in the blue. in the green. One in the red. Okay. Hmm. Maybe it's like this. Hey, so, uh, turns out I was doomed to fail. I looked it up. This one is supposed to be last. Oh, uh, well. I assumed, like, I guess I assumed white was supposed to be zero. As it happens, it isn't. Cool. Lovely. We'll go and save then. And we're all full. We've also, um... We've hit 33 and we haven't gotten any new moves in a little while. Oh, perfect. How long is this going to take? I don't have all day. My work takes patience. Stop talking, darling. I need to concentrate. How about now? Almost done, darling. And finished at last. My greatest adventure is complete. 
Oh, it's a robo sweetheart. Now speak, speak, my beautiful robot. Robo heart. Oh, is that right? So I'm gonna say off the code. Because you made me rush my work. Instead of to love, it now must be programmed to kill. <laughs> huh, don't blame this on me, she's your robot. Thanks to you, my hopes of finding true love have been shattered. It disappointed me greatly. I'm storming off. My, what a handful. Not my problem now. I almost forgot. Girl owes me money. I must catch her again before she leaves. Ooh, a slimy key card. Hmm, my my, what's with all the commotion? Must be some fun activities downstairs. Hey man, key card. Ooh, a slimy key card. Yum yum. So, did you want to go downstairs? Sure. Gross. It's like upsy your lifting friend. Can you make gelatin out of whalebone? I guess you could. I think all... Oh, by the way, part of the reason that the save file, uh, save file time is as high as it is is because uh, I just went to eat lunch and left it idle, and I've done that a few times. Goo. Mm-hmm. I'm following. Stop right there. Can't leave just late, doll. We want our payment. Can't you see how upset Marina's getting? Where's my money, lady? <laughs> Give me my money. Uh oh, sweetheart and the sea witches. No way, we're getting caught in the middle of this. Let's make a run for it. Stop where you are, children. I must correct you, because you're mistaken. We're not witches, but followers of science. Common mistake, I'm afraid. Humans tend to fear what they can't understand. Besides, I think I know why people think I think I know why people think we're witches. Hey, <laughs> what are you looking at me for? I decided we have a bigger problem. That's right. Where do you think you're going, sweetheart, darling? Yo, it's a big, big bag of clams. Hmm. As if you three peasants are worthy of payment. All I want is for you to make a perfect match. But you managed to fail me in three different ways. So insistent to get your worthless clams that these children cover the, co uh, cover the charge. Fucking asshole. Humphrey, stop her now! Here to report sweetheart has been disposed of. Good thing you asked. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to hold myself back any longer. Also, this may or may not surprise you, but sweetheart had a total balance of zero clams on her. Zero, not a single one. Which is unfortunate, as I'm getting a bit hungry. That wench double-crossed us. Knew there's something fishy about her. Not necessarily. She said these children would cover the charges. Oh, yeah. In that case, she's paid her due. Which parts of them should we sell off first? Such a brute, Marina. I'm sure she meant the kids would pay us, not that we would sell them. Alright, darlings. Now be good and hand over to your big, big bag of clams. Huh. So, uh, yeah, about that. Just curious, how much does she owe you, anyway? Consultation fee, initial fee, setup fee, inspection fee, surface fee, cost of materials, warranty fee, disposal fee, shipping, handling, gratuity, cancellation fee, damages, late payment fee. Brings the total charge to about a lot of clams. 100,000 clams? Or is that a million? I'm dyslexic and the letters are shaking. We don't have that kind of money. Oh. Yep, alright. Give me the boss fight. Oh, that's just too bad. Humphrey, seal the exits. Tough luck, kids. You walked in the wrong way, <laughs> Someone's got to pay for all this. I would say desperate times call for desperate measures. Don't you agree, sisters? Ooh, this one's too pretty to sell. Isn't he, Molly? Oh, no. I like the quiet one. You'd make a great pet. Don't you touch him. Let's go. We didn't do anything wrong. Ooh, feisty. You'd like this one, Rena. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess selling one will do. Hey, let me go. 
Kids can't pay us in clams. You can pay us with arms and legs. Kill, no! Let go of me. Put me down. Put me down. Ah, what the heck? He bit me. Yeah. Settle down, Marina. <laughs> Just a little nibble. You'll pay for that, you brat. Seems you got Marina all worked up. A little praise biting back. <sighs> Unsurprisingly, we'll have to fight our way out of this place. Oh, it's a fight you want, is it? It's been a while since my last hunt. Seems like a prey needs to be disciplined. Someone needs to teach you children proper manners. So, sweetheart dead. I'm kind of happy. Your prey, you're all way too picky. Don't want to be sold, don't want to be pets. You should learn your place. Well, whatever. It's fine with us. Always another option. <laughs> Gonna keep resisting and leave us with no other choice. Afraid we'll have to... Turn you into chum instead. Oh, they're cute. Oh. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. I don't want to fight him. I mean, I will. The slime girls. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I guess they only count as one, huh? So yeah, as I mentioned, the slime girls are a, like... I think they're like a future funk or vaporwave group. <laughs> a chainsaw? <laughs> no! A future funk or vaporwave group or something. Um, I forget what the hell their genre is, but I listened to them in high school, um, and they got picked to do the music for this game, which is like radical. Cause hell yeah, look at that. Uh yeah. Take it, hero. They're so cute. I love their designs. Molly, Marina, and Medusa. They attack at once, but they all whiffed. Oh, this is great. I love this. I assume that this is either the warm-up fight or something because there's no way we're getting out of here without fighting Humphrey right so either this is the warm-up fight or there's a whole other area in between here and there or Humphrey's a victory lap fucking chainsaw man Hell yeah, man. Keep it going, then. Tasty, tasty jams as well. Hmm. Kids are more resilient than expected. You know what that means? Time to get serious. I'm having so much fun. A bottle. And it explodes. Oof. Slime Girl's defense is at the bottom. I'll save it. Kel, fix everyone a snack, huh? Popcorn. Here we go. Some of that, thank you. And then you do a follow up on Aubrey, I think. Yeah, she's the only one who isn't topped off. Perfect. Yes. 
80. Jeez, oh, Pete. Aubrey, go. They do have very cute designs. Anyway, what I'm saying is, would I marry any slime girl? Yes, all of them at the same time. And then we'll have uh, Hero Pass to Cal, because he needs a little top off after all that. Hey Medusa, thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, yeah, sister. I think it's time we switch things up. Relax, children. This won't hurt a bit. Um. <laughs> I am so totally lost. I couldn't even heal. I was blown away. <laughs> What the hell, man? <laughs> All right. Get him, Aubrey. And naturally, some tasty, tasty jams. Let's give it some good music. I haven't heard anyone talk about how the music is. But it's like really good. Um, yeah, Cal doesn't really have any, like, attack attacks. Is it a little indulgent that they're, they named themselves the Slime Girls? Maybe. Aubrey's sad. Cal's happy. Hero's happy. Weird. Get him, Cal. Hell yeah. If they chainsaw Aubrey again, she's going to be in big trouble. Everything they have. Oh my god. All that juice, though. Attack and defense and speed fell. Okay, we're good. We're good. Chase some. Oh, Arby's dead. Get him, Boyle. We've got a lot of juice saved up, so we can probably just, like, clown on him. Right? Hit him again, Omori. Fruit juice? I'm not sure what fruit it is. Waddle? That could be bad. Oh, it wasn't. How wonderful. Man, shout out to Amori. Yeah. Get him. Did I miss? No. Hit again. Keep it going, you know? Kids are a lot tougher than you look. Yeah, I'm like level 34. More trouble than it's worth. What a predicament. How will we feed Humphrey now? We did it. Wow, big levels. Slime time is over. Man, what's wrong with this? Fight should be a piece of cake. Forget hunting. I'm not cut out for this nonsense anymore. I'm just gonna stick to research from now on. 
Well, dolls, seems we're past our prime. If only we are 200 years younger. Not to alarm you all, but I'm afraid my appetite's getting much, much, much bigger. Yeah, yeah, Humphrey, we got you. Molly, feed Humphrey some clams. Hmm? I'm sure I fed him last time. Besides, I used up all my clams on software for the last job. Getting hungrier. Okay, fine. How about you, Medusa? Well, I wasn't expecting free time again. Uh, if memory serves, isn't it your turn to feed Marina? Oh, wait, is it? I thought it was Molly's turn. Pretty sure it was Medusa's turn. Well, 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 well. Seems you've rolled into a bit of a pickle. If you can't feed me, guess I'll have to help myself. No, don't eat the slime girls. They're so cute. No, my furniture. What are we going to do now? Humphrey's going to digest everything. Perhaps we should plan an escape? I've already expended so much energy. Perhaps it's finally time for us to sleep with fishes. Yoo-hoo! No! Ah! No, that's awful! Mmm, seafood. Delicious! Humphrey's out of control. How are we gonna get out of here? Keep calm. Let's look for an exit. No, the slime girls. Shit's locked. Oh, they were so cute. I'm sad they're gone. Shit's locked. Pizzazz. My friends, Maya said you look delicious. Humphrey, stop this. Haven't you eaten enough? We promise we'll feed you later. But you can feed me now. Just let me eat you. Time to feast. Time to feast. Time for you to be deceased. Please don't eat us, Humphrey. We don't want to be eaten. A little too late for that. Should have thought of that before you walked in my mouth. Nyak, nyak. No good, guys. Don't know if there's a way out here. Don't say that, hero. Can't let it in like this. Nyak, 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 nyak. No need to struggle, children. And again. It always is more satisfying when you prepare your own food. Oh, God. I'll just sit still. Preparations have been made. Dinner's being served, and you're on the menu! Yeah, I kind of suspected we were going to get a boss fight with... Oh, it filled us up. Time to feast, time to feast, time for you to be deceased. I... thought we weren't going to get out of here without a... Uh... <laughs> I want to go check the wiki right now to make sure that the slime girls are okay. I already miss them. They're so wonderful. I love their gross little slimy designs. Uh, I'll save it. Start stabbing. Nice. Big damage. Oof. Kel, have a little sippo. And then you two. Ah, oh, crap, that was juice. Not heart, of course. Oh boy. Whole chicken. 
Okay, um... Okay, I'll have some of that. Perfect. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's see if we can get that unleash going. Because it's really cool. Yeah, I love this animation. I'm worried to do a little smile. And they'll come together and do a big punch. Hell yeah. So is it just like set to do a thousand damage? Because it looks like that might be the case. Final fight has just begun. Can you win if we work as one? Oh god. Oh. It. Humphrey Grande. Slutter some of that, my mans. Oh, it's so gross. Perfect. Let's share some food. Ooh, that damage is real good, though. Well, Mori, keep it going. Or I guess Aubrey. I hope the slime girls are okay, man. I'm legitimately upset about them. <laughs> oh, wonderful. this fight though it, it's allowing me to use uh, more of my abilities Also, the music is just kind of gross. I don't know if that's like a valid thing to say, but like the music is gross, you know? Humphrey Grande, man. Of all the things to name your second form, why Grande? Just a warning, it's about to get smelly. Time for you to all get in my belly. No, the bones. Oh, God. Do a little cook for him, thank you. Oh, God. I really, I, I'm, I'm this close to pausing the recording to find out if the slime girls survive. 
It's probably gonna spoil me like the slime girls are a band in the real world. They exist in uh you know, the fucking fake land and also in this. Doesn't matter how quick or slow. Where you struggle, the deeper we'll go. It's so fucking gross, man. Let's just release energy again. Maybe it does something else. Man, if I die, I might have to fight the slime girls again. If that happens, we'll just skip back to here. So yeah, just does a thousand damage flat. I'm not quite sure if that's better or not. Ugh. Let's relax, there's nothing to fear. Hey, Omori, is it getting stuffy in here? Darker and darker. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, that's some real damage, though. <sighs> Am I missing something about this fight? I hope not. Cooking meat is very fun. Should you be rare, medium rare, medium, or well done? Uh, a little long for the meter there, my friend, but, uh... Ugh. Whose mouth is that, man? Spend it. Let's do some damage, Aubrey. I think the most uh, adequate use of... Because if Omori attacks, that's fine. But then if she gets the follow-up from Omori, because she does the most damage to the party, I think. Because, like, Omori can do some damage, but she does regular damage. He mostly does, like, crit damage. Whole chicken. Yeah, topped off. Ugh. It's pointless to squirm. Give up, my friend. I'm afraid the cycle will never end. That's possible. I'm going to pause and see if I'm doing this right. Hey, all right, and we're back. Yeah, just top off. This attack takes a while, but I think it's worth it for the damage. Um... I haven't really commented on all the bones down there, but, uh... They're real gross. They're really... I hate this, you know? There's no need to squirm. Ignorance is bliss. How many times must we do this? Ugh. Is that like a picture of Omocat's mouth? Because that's icky. Past Aubrey. <laughs> so, I hate this, you know? 
I made the joke in the description of the previous episode, I think, that in this episode we get bored and like... I hate it, man. I hate this. Every part of this. I despise it. Alright, little top off. I almost enjoy seeing, um... Doesn't matter how quick or how slow. We already read that one. Um, I was trying to think, but nothing happened. I almost prefer uh, in RPGs when one attempts to... Oh, hey, we're nearly done, though. Oh, yeah, top off. Take it, Aubrey. I almost prefer when in healing in an RPG, it doesn't fill you up all the way. Because, like, I hate wasting a thing, and so, like, if I'm missing nine health... Feel free to struggle, because no matter what, you'll never be able to escape my gut. Ugh. Oh, we did it. Ugh. Ugh. It's no use. How we get out of here? Humphrey keeps swallowing us. Mori, I'm scared. Why don't we get ourselves into this mess? Don't worry, Aubrey. We'll get through this. Got out of plenty of sticky situation before. Hey, we can't give up now. There's just got to be a way out of here. I realize that this is also... Um, The, uh, almost literally the belly of the beast, belly of the whale part of the hero's journey, you know? All right. Mush was full of excitement as he was being chewed. Ugh. Gross. All right, let's get some more snacks. Good top off. Um, nice. And everyone's full except for the man's. Oh, it kills him. Funny. Funny. Okay. Thank you. Oh, God, we're standing on his tongue. Going somewhere? Nyak, nyak. You'll never defeat me, loser. I despise this. Okay. He's sad. Oh. All right. Final strike. Yo. Oh, of course, we hit his uvula. And it made him feel icky, and he had to borf us out. Oh, dear. That's so gross. I hope you die, Humphrey. Blech, blech. Well, that didn't go down smoothly at all. Hmm, suddenly I feel so sleepy. I think I'll take a short nap. I hope you die, you garbage awful whale. Ugh, that was a close one. Yeah, never underestimate a hungry stomach. That was really scary. Ugh. You know what? At least we got through it together. What do you guys want to do now? I'm not sure. Were we looking for something? Didn't hear much in this before, too. Yeah, we were just following Sweetheart, but... The situation seems to have resolved itself. Pretty sure there was something else. Aubrey, you're always worrying about nothing. Learn to relax and enjoy yourself sometimes. 
I guess that's true. I'm a little tired of worrying so much. Mm. Three keys left. That was awful. Also, I just realized I wasted all of those those goodies. All right, we're back in deeper well. Jump down the whale hole, I guess. I can't believe we couldn't have thought of a better name than whale hole. Oh. You have come again to seek the truth. Each time your adventures may be disparate, but as your journey nears its end, it'll always lead you back here. The truth. Truth is always the same. Okay. Past the truth was once here, but it has been removed. It was moved to a lighthouse in a pier. We were there! Then to a library banished deep underground. We were there too, at an old barn on a distant planet. We might have been there, and this time it'll be in the heart of a vast forest. That's our, that's our journey in reverse. Wait, if it's in the heart of the vast forest, then that means we have to go into the stump where those three live. Which leads to white space. No matter how many times the path is concealed, the flower boy will always find it, and your dear sister Mari, she will guide you to it. Even as hollow shells, they continue to evolve. Each time, they will grow wings and fly too close to the sun. It is their nature. They are the only ones who know, and one has carried it with her to her grave. So, death may be no danger here, but the memories of them do not fade so easily. Many times, your friends have met with an unfortunate fate. Though they are revived time and again, the most haunting stay in this world, even if only their bones remain. The long-lost ones sink here to the bottom of the deep well and become nothing. You have forsaken them, yet they still yearn for your care. Their souls know nothing but how to scream for help. Do you take pity on them? Bro, what the fuck? Your dear sister Mari with a bad knee. You could not bear for her to die again, so she was given the safety of a picnic blanket. Okay, as I suspected. Yet it is her nature to leave and to protect, and when she does, she will leave you again and be born anew with the undying soul you have cursed her with. There's a really cool thing in, um, this is minor spoilers for Silent Hill, um, Shattered Memories, so, like, skip 30 seconds ahead. Uh, but in Silent Hill Shattered Memories, you're playing as someone's delusion. And the reason that you have transitions between the real world and the dream world is because in the person's story, a inaccuracy is pointed out. So that's why transitions between the other world and Silent Hill happen because of that inaccuracy. Um, and hey, so if you're just getting here from 30 seconds ago, uh, skip to another 30 seconds because I underestimated my own ability to fucking flap my jaw. So yeah, see you in another 30. Um, so Silent Hill. Um, and that's almost what's happening here. Omori slash Sonny is being confronted with his own inaccuracies. It's like, yeah, Mari, just like you remember her, but she's safe and she's forever going to be on this picnic blanket. Except that's not what Mari would do. Um, so she's going to keep coming back over and over and over again. Oh, crap. I got to wait for everyone else. Is that it? I think that's it. The souls assigned to your friends. They are fragile and must be protected, and so they remain asleep. So they aren't your real friends. Yet, the path to the truth is closer to your most precious room than ever before. Will you be able to bury it this time? Perhaps it's too late for you. Oh, boy. You know of the keys to the other realm. They're different each time, but they'll unlock the same door. The end of this journey will lead to suffering. 
But if you do not face this, you cannot continue. This form, though it has not shown its true self, is evil. You will not see that unless you fight it. Is that sunny about Omori? When your intentions become hazy, they will transpire into the world like a thick fog. You will know it when it happens. It has happened before. It was foggy earlier. At that time, return to where the truth was born to the heart of the forest. And like each time before, attempt to rewrite your fate. Will you be doomed to repeat this cycle over and over? Will you break it? Explore the world where you can, dreamer, until there's nothing left. This has happened over and over. This has happened thousands of times. Welcome to Black Space. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a loop. We're in a time loop. Basil's been captured thousands of times, maybe. And every time, Omori just resets the world so Sonny can live in his fantasy again. And in doing that... So much has passed. So much time in the real world has passed. It's been four years in the real world or more. Because he's just resetting it over and over and over again. the other day, Nose was telling me about a cute leaves she met. But when she tried to be its friend, all it talked about was how much it hated bunnies. How could someone hate bunnies? I don't understand some people. The playground's empty. So, I'm guessing that the bad ending, or like the really bad ending, is Omori just lets it loop again. But this time, he's not even in the same town. So he can't reconnect with his friends. Like, th the reason that this is happening like this, the reason that this is the loop that we, the player, are seeing is because this is the last chance Omori will have to be killed. This is the last chance Sonny has to talk to his friends again. there's not going to be another one after this because otherwise Sonny would just go away and refuse connection with his friends and lose them forever because he wouldn't bother talking to them. Got it. <clears throat> we got the uh, the Easter egg for the mirror, guys. My God, a chill just went across my entire body. <laughs> like the hair on my arm is legitimately standing up. Ooh. Um, I take it return to where it all began, return to where the truth is, go to the thing is like either go to white space, end of the game, or finish the puzzle that says welcome to black space. I was wrong about he's in black space, but I was right about, you know, the opposite of white space being black space. Also, if in white space there's a black bulb, the opposite of an idea, the repression of new thought, which is what this game is, 
then black space, a place that would seem bad, must have an opposite as well. And it must be a light bulb. So, like, it is bad in black space. But ultimately, it allows fresh ideas to come through. By allowing yourself to hurt and suffer, you can heal. You just have to admit that you have hurt, you have suffered, and feel the pain instead of ignoring it, and move on. That's so awesome. Holy shit. Um, game of the year. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna ask my friend what the other endings are. Uh, and uh, I guess we're beating the game soon. So I've been Alfred. This has been Omori, and uh, wow, it's it's wrapping up. Um, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Bye. <laughs>